Hi guys and welcome to another video. In today's video I'm going to look at what's in my bag. So let's just jump straight in. On a wedding day I like to keep things really really simple. Over the years I've tried to just minimise as much gear as possible. I used to use my messenger bag which you can see here. Um, it fit two camera bodies, two lenses. I could fit my flash on top and my straps and that was it and I'd take my iPad separately loose. That was all I used to take. Don't overcomplicate things. Since I have dropped flash, because um, I used to have my Pro Roller bag which was full of flash gear, astonishingly it doesn't even get used now, it sits in this cupboard behind me. So I took that out of my Pro Roller bag, put it in the cupboard and now the space in my pro roller if i wasn't shooting behind the scenes content for you guys or doing any youtube stuff or other project things i'd probably stick with my messenger bag but the pro roller allows me to keep the drone the batteries the controller gopros everything so i might as well use it when i start doing destination work obviously most of this isn't going to come in that sort of bag i'll probably just get a, a carry-on that can hold obviously my cameras probably just my messenger bag and things like the drone and stuff pretty much it's going to be pretty simple so all of this now lives in my pro roller bag i stick it in the corner of the wedding leave it there all day and off i go so let's just dive into what i've got firstly we have the a9 which is obviously on the camera right now um that has the sony 35 1.4 j master on there absolutely amazing lens the camera body again i'm not going to probably upgrade that for five years or until it's dead the other body i have is a second a9 so this a9 has the 85 1.4 g master on and for anyone who's lost 20 of these eyepieces which i have these ones were actually recommended to me by stephen beecroft cheers mate um, I'll try and chuck a link up here somewhere. Um, these have never came off. <laughs> I bought two of them and they've never come off compared to the original Sony's. That's the 85, 1.4 and an A9. So they both sit in the center of the bag. Essentials, one speed light. So I use the Godox V1. So this little bad boy, I only use one during the day. Um, the other one's there just in case really. Back up has two batteries in it and I have a spare battery in the spare battery bag. So I've got three batteries. I've never used an entire battery at a wedding ever. So to have three batteries, that's like shooting three weddings worth. I would never need them, um, it's overkill. But literally I can get away with two bodies, two lenses, one flash. That's all I need for a wedding to do what I need to do. Um, but I have two of these, two V1s. Um, I do have the V862s, which are in the cupboard. Obviously, they've got the rectangular flash pattern compared to a circle. To be honest, it makes no difference to me at all. Um, you can see it's pointed backwards. It lives like that on top of the camera for when I'm doing point bounce work. That is it. It never points forward unless I'm doing uh, shutter drags. But yeah, pretty much it lives like that. So circular pattern or a rectangular pattern makes no difference. The thing I like about the V1s is they have the modeling light. So I actually use this quite regularly if I need to. So the other day I shot a Winyard Hall and they had fireworks at the end of the evening. I was going to pop it on a light stand, but the bridesmaid said I'll hold it. Bless her cotton socks. She held the flash like this while she watched the fireworks and she held the modeling light on the bride and groom. And I just took the photos. Modeling light comes in really well on these. Next up, let's go over here. So we've got the DJI Mavic Air 2, the second version. We'll not get into where the first one went. Up a tree. It's still there. Uh, <laughs> I'll give you a quick background on that. I was at Jasmine Dean shooting a wedding. Uh, the videographer had the exact same drone. They were both up at the same time over the Dean. So it's treacherous. So it's not like I climb up a tree to get it. You know, and a quick like, oh, that's my drone. It wasn't boom straight in the top of a tree had to leave it 800 pound drone managed to sync the photos back to my phone before i left though which is good but yeah it's probably still up there so i bought the second hand one on mpb and it works brilliantly um i pretty much only use it to get some behind the scenes drone footage for the behind the wedding series and a couple of venue photos that's it i never busted out for actual wedding photos or anything like that 
I have done in the past to do a group photo twice, I think. Um, but I try not to mention that I've got a drone at all. Otherwise, it just becomes a little bit of a hassle of like, oh, he's got a drone. Can we have the drone up to do this? I'll do that, I'll do this. And it just eats into things. We've got the Mavic Air 2 controller. Um, I would much prefer the one with the built-in screen. Um, I mean, this one does, but it does wind me up having to put my phone in all the time. But I'm not going to upgrade again. I'm saving money. If you're spending money constantly, you're a business. You're just depleting your profits. I'll stick with sticking my phone in it for the, the five minutes I use it on a wedding. Two batteries, all labelled up. Got those. There is a section in my bag as well, a zip po pocket, which I keep the battery chargers now, uh, spare propellers, everything. Um, I took this to a wedding in December at Warwickshire. Um, it was left in the car overnight uh, and then obviously drove to the venue in the morning as well. Um, but it had obviously driven down there as well. So it had been in the car for hours and hours and hours, practically like a day and a half in cold temperatures. And when I went to put the drone up on the morning, it was having none of it. It, all the batteries were drained because of the cold. So I now bring the charger with me just in case. We have another Osmo Action. So the Osmo Action, this is the version two. Um, this was my original I used to have. It was the one I actually filmed the first ever behind the wedding series with. Um, the problem with this is when I rotate the camera into portrait, the video would rotate into portrait, which looked a bit naff. Um, however, the Osmo Action 3 then came out with uh, Horizon Steady or something like that, where you can rotate the camera 360 degrees, but the video never changes. I don't know how they managed that. So that lives in here. We have the Osmo Action 3, which is here. Nice dainty little thing, love the case on it. And then I attach that to this arm. I connect that to the bottom of the camera and then that sits on there. So that's the Osmo Action 3. Let's put that away. Next we have two little SD Pelican cases. So these live under that GoPro bag. And when I've used my batteries at the wedding, once they're depleted, I throw everything that's depleted under that bag. So it's totally out of the way and it's concealed. So these live under there as well. So this case is the JJC memory card case. So this is just full of backup cards. Rarely ever need them. I have 256 gig cards in my cameras. So these never get touched. They are literally last resort stuff. Or I've had in the past, a videographer says, oh, I need another card. Could you borrow me one? Here you go, no problem. So that's the backups. At the end of the night, uh, I'll take the primary cards out of the cameras, pop them in here, which is blank, close that up, puts in my pocket. So obviously my bag goes into the boot of the car and the travel home and then this lives in my pocket. So if I get rear-ended by a truck and the, all the camera gears smash the bits and the boots, hopefully it's never hit me <laughs> and the image is still safe. I also take two SD card readers. One's a main Apple one, the other one's a knockoff, so the knockoff's just a backup. But these are mainly used when I do the same day previews on a wedding day, which also takes into account using the iPad Pro, which I've left over there. So I have the XDR version, um, so the blacks are true black on the iPad. Love it, great stuff. Bungees, so we use these little bungees. I think I've used them once in a TP. Next up, obviously lens caps. And then just in case I ever need to funnel some light out of the flashes, which I rarely ever do, we've got three of the magnetic grids. This bag here, has all of the batteries in that I ever need. So we've got the spare V1 battery. We've got the Z batteries for the Sony. So I have six of these. I've never gone through them all in a wedding. And then I have two third party knockoffs in here as well. And they're like last resort batteries. At the end of the night, when I'm on the dance floor, you only use one camera and one body, which is the 35. I'm quite weary of when people are drunk and had a skin fall jumping around knocking this out my hand so what i do when i get to the reception 
I put this on my wrist and then I attach that to the camera and that way anyone knocks out my hand it's completely safe 15 20 quid but peace of mind I'd get yourself one it's quite nice as well it's like a braided material really nice but it gives you that peace of mind it's fine if you're going to leave them clipped onto your um, harnesses but by that time of the day I like to take my harness off and just run and gun with that on my hand obviously everybody needs a supply of drugs so <laughs> we have paracetamols antacids ibuprofen and even some cold and flu relief <laughs> can't beat a bit of lemsip i pretty much guarantee 70 80 percent of people watching this video have something similar in their bag usually later in the, the day or even like halfway through especially if it's a hot summer's day carry a purse uh, antiperspirant with you guys so a little bit of ted baker here quick spritz halfway through the day just freshens you up it's quite nice so i think that's it it might feel like a lot of stuff but most of it actually sits in the camera bag the only things that come out is the drone on the morning for five minutes the gopro obviously sits on top of the camera one speed light comes out usually only pop during, at, at the reception time but primarily i keep it as concise as possible so i've got my 85 and my air 9 on this side the air 9 and the 35 on that side on my harness that is it off i go as long as i've got those two things i can shoot a wedding all day one flash very helpful that's what i would take two bodies two lenses one flash that's all I need. I don't need loads and loads and loads of gear. I could probably even get away without using the flash if I needed to, if it was clutch. The whole point of this is to try and travel light, keep things simple. If I'm worrying about changing lenses to get this particular shot or to do this particular shot, it's just extra thinking power. This is probably why as well, when I change my approach to move away from flash and concentrate on the moments and human interaction and emotion one of the things that actually changed as well i'd been a manual shooter for five years for the last 12 to 18 months i've shot completely in aperture priority the cameras are clever enough if if it gets it wrong tiny little bump on the compensation dial and jobs are good if I can take away thinking out settings such as what's my aperture, what's my ISO, what's the shutter speed and let the camera do it, I can then focus on what I'm looking for which is the moments. I can concentrate on composition, I can look at the light, especially if you're moving from a, a, say inside to outside, you can't change your settings quicker than the camera can do it in aperture priority just saying i've found that a really really good benefit so if you're still on manual thinking i'm a proper photographer because i shoot in manual give aperture a go it honestly is brilliant i'll not go back to manual the only time i use manual now is when i'm on the dance floor anyway enough of settings so that's it guys i like to keep it very simple two bodies two lenses on my harness one speed light that's all i need all the other stuff is just tiny little accessories. That's what's in my camera bag. I hope it helps somebody. I never know if these things do. Hope that helps. I'll see you in the next video.